Hello there and welcome to Weekly Forecast with TFX at ProfitPointNG.com where we're going to be looking at the week that ended on the 21st of August 2020 and the upcoming week 24th of August 2020. This week we're going to be looking into GBPUSD, USD card, HUDUSD, WTI crude oil, XAUUSD or gold. Before we get started, I want to encourage you to please share your idea what you might have been looking at in the course of the week that might be of help to us in getting better you can also subscribe hit the like button on this channel and possibly share this video inviting more people to this channel to also share their ideas right so that ultimately we can build a more profitable trading community let's get started Last week, I did make reference to uh, this uh, observation I noted on GBPUSD. Uh, I've been happening for the past few weeks, right? Uh, in which uh, GBPUSD have been somehow, right, finding difficult to break this uh, trend line that I've been shaping in for a couple of years. And I did mention that uh, uh, we had uh, a double pin bar right on a weekly closing basis right that was two weeks ago and then it repeated itself last week which made a triple pin bar uh, right but this week that just ended we saw that uh, GBPUSD broke right the uh, level of this tripping bar and broke into a higher high unfortunately however it retraced right back and closed somewhere right nearly below this trend line okay and then i gave this a uh, topical video on how to spot a reversal uh, which quite a number of people are taking advantage of and made uh, a significant profit so now based on what we have here on this weekly chart here now that looked as if gbbusd is unable to break this i i want traders to be cautious because to me i believe that pound sterling uh is being undervalued for so long as a result of the brexit rights discussion and deals right now this is what is being taking place for the past few weeks i do believe that uh, going forward this week right we might see pound right trade in this retracement that we have here right slightly below this uh, trend line and then uh, this is what i've been looking at right on the uh four hour chart here that uh, we do have this uh, sloping line right which is a bit of a upward trending line right and for last week right we have this downtrend line so uh creating a sort of a wedge pattern here right so this week we are looking at if pound broke below uh this uh, trend line here that there is a tendency that it might want to go and attempt right the boundary of this zone here right that created there's the you know this demand zone right but uh, a close look at uh, the movement in this direction we can see that 200 EMA might appear somewhere here at 129.50 region. So, which for me is the point where I'm going to resume my bullish uh, uh, bias. So, I'm going to be buying up from here, right? Pending order, another buy on pending order at this point, right? Because I strongly believe that this is going to retreat itself right back and then ultimately able to break above this uh, boundary and able to break this uh, 200 EMA here to test at least the December's high right which correspond to 135 region USD card I did mention right last week that uh, USD card is still trading essentially below this uh, downward moving trend line and i emphasize that 
and this last week that just ended that it is likely going to test september last year's low right where it might bounce back and if it doesn't bounce back from there it's going to continue in the downward movement to test october last year's low right all right the week started out and played out exactly that same way started out here right and then moved down to test that uh, september last year's low bounced back from there and created a sort of a double top here right and it's on its way again to retest that september last year's low right now this week its ability to break below september last year's low right will lead us to test october last year's low right where we can then see it possibly try to test right this uh, january low but i do believe that uh, the bulls will want to defend usd card from trading below the 130 mark which correspond to the october last year's low right and also uh coincidentally right is also around the uh, uh july last year's low and which also the bulls will want to defend it right from trading below the 130 mark right so we look into this and then we are going to stay on the on the side right still bearish to 130 mark low and see if the bulls will be able to defend that level and then uh we're going to uh stay closely monitoring the pattern that shapes out from there and then see if it's going to be able to at least break above this downward trend line all right AUD USD. Hot dollar, just like a pound dollar, right? It's been finding it difficult to break, right? Above this uh, trend line that has also been here for a couple of months, right? As you can see on the weekly chart here, right? It's been finding it difficult to break above that, right? Because of that trend line and because the 200 EMA also appeared there, just like we have in GBP USD. The consequence of that is what we saw last week that a uh, Aussie dollar started you know uh pulling back from that trend line right however we have this a uh, upward trend line also a temporary upward trend line here that also if we look at it with the down trend line give us a kind of a wedge pattern so this coming week we are looking into uh Aussie being able to break below this wedge right if it's able to break below this wedge it's going to experience right the 200 EMA that's going to appear just right below it and then the momentum and the volatility with which it approached the 200 EMA will suggest what we're going to do so if it breaks below that uh we might as well see Aussie dollar going to retest the 1764 mark and possibly the 070 uh, mark which correspond to September last year's high WTI we saw uh, something interesting played out last week on WTI as we forecasted upper week right I did mention like on a weekly basis the number of weeks that have been bullish and number of weeks that have been bearish and I did also mention on a monthly uh, basis here that uh, last month gained some pricing and pulled back right and then I said that that uh, it is possible that if you see the strength of that bullish movement if you see the strength is losing that strength that there might be a pullback also this month and caution should be taken at this point from buying crude oil exactly what played out last week on WTI so uh, we saw WTI last week right uh, pulled back right very sharply and very strongly right and then as we saw here it pulled back very sharply right on a uh, hourly time frame here we saw it pull back very sharply here right and then he experienced that pull back and what we saw if you look at it closely on the cleaner chart here is that it pulled back and encounter the 200 EMA bounce back from it right on a daily basis it closed the air and is unable to close above this uh, trend line that I have mentioned right since last few days that every day I've closed below this trend line every day no single day I've been able to close above this trend line so 
inside of this pullback right we had on friday this pullback also that also right retraced from the 200 ema so going forward i believe this uh, series of pullback that we are having on wti crude oil uh might persist for a significant period of time right if we consider the present economic situation where people are saying that uh, the pandemic maybe the first wave the continuation of the first wave or people are saying uh, maybe it's the uh, beginning of second wave so based on that and then also couple that with the discovery of a massive crude oil wells right deposit in some other part of the world i may want to suspend my uh, bullish bias on crude oil right and by that i mean I'm going to be willing to buy crude oil when there have been significant pullback, right? Just like I, as I have here now, I have this buy or penny order here for buy position. I have more, right? I have another one below that. So I'm going to be willing to buy crude oil when we must have experienced some significant pullback here. All right. So caution should be taken in buying crude oil at this point. However, I'm not in any way in support of opinion to sell crude oil at this point. Rather, I'm going to be waiting for it to pull back and then to buy right at the deep there. All right, XAUUSD or gold. I did mention last week uh, this concept of search for a real yield bottom, right? And I mentioned that which took place last week Tuesday, right? Two weeks ago rather, that took away about 1,600 pips from gold and i did mention that uh, it found it difficult to break right above the 50 percent uh fibonacci retracement level right and then what we saw is that it somehow broke above the 618 fibonacci retracement level but on two days occasion it's unable to close right above the 2000 price mark so we saw that two days right closed below the 2000 price mark which was on tuesday right and on wednesday last week and what we saw as a result of that is that uh, the, the, the that gold entered into a kind of a downward moving trend line as you can see here right where it entered into this trend created this at the top of the trend hit this at the bottom of the trend went this way right and there is moving in that channel right a temporary retracement there so it is interesting to look at the following price action going forward for last week we saw that gold right handed the week on a bearish note uh last week opened at uh, 1946 region and then it closed below 1946 region so towards the end of close of friday what we saw is that apart from this temporary downward channel in which gold is moving we saw that on friday that something interestingly also shipped out which is a kind of a wedge pattern now i was waiting for this to break above this wedge pattern here right but uh, it's unable to break above that simply for the fact that the open price for last week is acting as a strong resistance there and 200 yemi also has appeared at that level and so it broke below this wedge here and then closed on a negative note so we might not be surprised to see gold open right tomorrow or monday right at a lower price right and then if we see that happen what we shall be expecting is that there might be a revisit right to this uh, 1800 mark region till that takes place i may want to hold on to my bullish bias on gold as you can see that i would be willing to be buying right at the deep here right especially if it goes right to retest the 1800 region so i have buy positions right pending order right at lower prices here so i'm expecting this to pull back right and then for it to go back up all right so this is what we've been looking at uh in the in the course of this weekend ahead of next week uh and i believe this is going to be of help so we can share our idea you can share your idea 
on what you think uh, that can also help us to build a better trading community. So this is TFX at ProfitPointLG.com and thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.